Hello everybody, and this is my battle against my best friend, my, well, one of my best friends, Mahdi Zihani, once again. We're having another single battle, and yeah, let's get started. We first start off, you know, with the trainer. Oh, this is one long battle. If you don't want to watch this, don't watch it. It's 40, 46 turns, I believe. So I lead off with my shiny spirit tomb and he leaves off with his Dragonite as you can see. This spirit tomb has a move set of I believe Pain Split and Dream Eater, Hypnosis, and Shadow Ball. This spirit tomb originated from his pearl actually. I got it in his pearl. He lent it to me one day and I got a spirit tomb, shiny spirit tomb from it. And so there you go, battled, this, this, my main, like, strategy with the spirit tomb is to, uh, hypnosis, then, dream eater, and pain split, shadow ball, I believe, is not used very often in this battle, he gets quite lucky with this thunder, and paralyzes me whilst hitting me, and the other thing is, I, this battle contains a lot of luck, I hit him so many times with hypnosis. It's hilarious. It's, it's just sad. I feel sorry for him. And let me just say, for those of you who guys want, uh, for those of you who want to take me to take out Spooks in this battle, because you know he's not doing very well, he's doing amazing. He's ta this Blastoise is a real threat in my opinion, because a lot of my team is weak to water type moves. This Blastoise is a, is a threat, in my opinion. And Spiritomb is my main, like, guy who beat this Blastoise. And not only that, but he took out a lot of Blastoise's... He took out, like, a big chunk of Blastoise's HP. And the only reason Spooks lost was because, well, he used the help of other Pokemon. Like his Zapdos, who paralyzed me. Other than that, Spiritomb really won this battle. Oh, Spiritomb won, won, won against him. You know, going for the most powerful attacks. Hydro Cannon, as he does here. Oh, let me just say one thing. I'm not a very good Pain Splitter at all. I do not how to, know how to use a move very well. And this is my first time ever using it. Just so happens to be a double battle, guys. I'm using this move in a double battle. Yes, very, no, no, not a double battle, sorry, sorry, in a competitive battle. Yes, very smart, should have practiced, but as you can tell, I'm very lazy. EV training these was a nightmare for me. He EV, he EV trains and he's not lazy at all, but he just doesn't have much time to do much, really. I'm only 11 and, well, I'm the lucky one if you ask me. I get, I have a, I have a lot of free time on my hands, a lot. But I just don't know how to use like Photoshop and everything, so I can't make sidebars and move sets and a bunch of stuff. So yeah, sorry about that part. Ghost Wars. I go for Pain Split, you know. I never, I didn't really know how to use it. I did it before, I believe, and as you can see, can't use it very well because I just don't know how to use Pain Split very well at all. Go for the Dream Eater. Surprisingly, these Dream Eaters aren't doing very much. I wish Dream Eater was more of a uh, ghost type move than a um, psychic type move, but it makes sense. I mean, it was based off of the move from the um, Musharna, right? It was based off of Musharna, the move? I believe so. <laughs> but other Pokemon can learn it. If it was only a ghost type move, my god, it would wreck, wreck havoc upon people. If you can hear the clicking, I'm sorry about that. After all, I did just, you know, come back from the battle with him, and Spooks is amazing. Spooks is amazing. And if you did see on my team, I do have an Aeron. It is a level 1 Aeron with a sturdy ability, Endeavor, and Protect. I tried getting Toxic on it, but I have to go find the team for that. So I can, like, you know, just in case he meant just... A, just in case random other people that I'm battling do like a sword stance instead of attacking. <coughs> oh, here comes the uh, amazing shiny Aeron. Oh, this Aeron was actually a very lucky one. I just want to go catch an Aeron. 
turn out to be shiny. Here comes the sturdy. You know, here's what really annoys him. Bam. End day of her. Brings down the opponent's HP to yours. I had 1 HP. And he had full. And he got taken down to 1 HP. And so lucky he hits himself in confusion. Woo! So yeah, a level 1 Aeron defeated a level 100 Landorus EV trained. Now this is his Dragonite, which he double switched into Blastoise, realizing that I'd go for another Endeavor instead of another Protect. So it didn't necessarily do much to Blastoise. I switched out back to my Umbreon. Now here comes his smart play, which doesn't happen very often. Let me just tell you that right now. I mean, he just had one, but... His smart play is switching into Cobaline with the ability Justified, making it so that whenever I hit him with my Dark type move, he'll raise attack. But what he doesn't know is when he switched Pokemon, the stat boosts change. So in the middle of the battle, he asked me, "Oh, when when he switches back into his uh, Dragonite, he asked me, oh, how many uh, Dragonites did my Dragonite do?'" Um, I said two, and then I'm and then I say after that, but that won't do any effect because. He's already switched out of battle, and he's just like, wait a second, what? So yeah, he doesn't know that. Which is why I got lucky there. Again, I mean, I'm getting so much luck in this battle. You don't get it. Here, here's his Dragonite part, and he asked me what, you know, what I just said. As you can see, this is a very long battle. Six minutes in the battle, only 25 turns have been done, and there's 46. 46 turns, this battle was. And I do not know why, but I'm guessing it's a good thing. Like, I'm so lucky I forgot, guys. You see, I should have just been using Thunderfang to take the, to go this, make this battle go a lot faster. But I was using X's and not realizing that. So, yeah, just as, um, I believe, quadruple ineffective? I cannot remember. Or is it just two times ineffective? I, I cannot remember, but yeah, I'm just using a bunch of exercise to take his Dragonite down. And he uses this Dragonite for a bit of a smart play. No, wait, no, he uses this Blaze again. He does have a Blaze again, as you can see. You know, end of battle. If he goes for the fly, I have nothing better to do than just, you know, miss an attack. See, I do have Thunder Fang. I was trying to, you know, save my uh, power points for Exazer. And thank God, again, I only used one. Because, well, if I used like five, I would have been in a heap of trouble against one of his legendaries. Amazingly, this is his first time I against a, a battle against me. He didn't use Ubers. I mean, yes, he did use like about three legendaries plus a pseudo legendary, but I'm proud of him. Not a single Uber. I believe not, no Pokemon on my teams are pseudo legendaries. Yeah, I believe so. I believe there are only seven and they're all dragon type. And do I even have a dragon type on my team? Don't think so. But yes. About that many Pokemon. Yeah, I don't, I don't have a single dragon type Pokemon on my team, if I'm correct. Well, I mean. Ampharos is Mega Evolutions for a dragon, if that counts. But yeah, I believe the, the pseudo-legendaries are Hydreigon, Drag- Actually, let me see them in the order they release. Dragonite, Tyranitar, Salamence, and Metagross, then Garchomp, then Hydreigon, and then, uh, I believe it's called Gar- Good- Garadu? Gar Garadu? Daragu? The evolved form of Sligo in 6th gen. I, I believe that's what it's called. Da Daragu? Can somebody say what its real name is in the comments, please? If I'm correct that that's his name. I don't remember these things. He comes back into his Zapdos, like I said, doing his smart play with that blaze again. Or was it a Dragonite? I already forgot. But yeah, Thunderfanging. Okay, so in the middle of the battle, 
he just say he's just like ah my thunder's gonna kill you and then he tells me that oh yeah i i asked him oh wait well, then why did you use jill peck and he goes like oh i learned my lesson from last battle and then apparently he forgets and uses thunder <laughs> can't believe that really can't you know i remember he was just like oh yeah well my blaziken has flare blitz my uh uh razors part ground he just you know couldn't forget him that part Oppy. Sorry about that. Oh, it's just a bit of background noise. If you hear any, well, don't blame me. Just, just don't, okay? This, I'm sure you figured it out by now, but what's helping Gliscor is his poison heal ability and the fact that he's holding a toxic orb. He does have very high defensive, a defense of more than my Umbreon. I believe a 303, but then again, my Umbreon, I believe, is a careful nature, which makes it more especially defensive than defensive. He sends out his blaze again after me destroying his Blastoise, and I have Earthquake. If I'm correct, these are his last two Pokemon. So blaze again is taken out. He's just like, <gasps> <gasps> okay, this is a brave Pokemon, and it'll take me a miracle to win with him. So yeah, um, he does go for the Iron Head, neutral damage due to my part ground type. I mean, my part, yeah, my part ground. No. I don't even know what I'm saying, okay? I'm, I'm sorry. I, I, just, I just don't know. Goes for another one. My substitute does fade, but I do set off another earthquake, and that was his last Pokemon. So, GG, Mahdi. This, I rate this battle a 5 to 0, because I have well, five Pokemon alive. Only Pokemon that died of this battle, sadly, spooks. My shiny spirit tomb. Good night.